What's up everybody, I'm Ethan Lee, also known as Watcher Syndicate. We got paid again this week, and with that we invested another $807.23. With that we bought $207 or 0.57 shares of Vanguard 500 Index Fund, ticker symbol VOO, $200 or $3.996 of Altria Group, ticker symbol MO, $200 or 3.166 shares of Realty Income, ticker symbol O, $100 or 1.395 shares of New Core Core, ticker symbol NUE, and $100 or 0.693 shares of American Express Core, ticker symbol AXP. On the 15th, we got paid $5.15 from International Paper, ticker symbol IP, $3.65 from Realty Income, ticker symbol O, and also $0.99 cents from McDonald's Core, ticker symbol MCD. That brings our total annual dividend income from $385.58 all the way to $413.78. I also decided to put another $100 towards paying off some Discover debt and also another $100 towards paying off some PayPal credit debt. Recently, I also applied and got approved for two more credit cards. And with that, I am now able to add the City Diamond Preferred credit card and the City Rewards Plus credit card to my repertoire of cards. It has no annual fee and has a credit limit of 2.2000 and 2000 respectively. On the magic side of things, I also got a few more cards for various cubes, mostly from Scars of Mirrodin and also Mirrodin Besieged. The uncommons I got from Mirrodin Besieged were two A Quarter Paladins, one Brass Squire, two Flesh Eater Imps, two Goblin War Drivers, two Neurot Commandos, one Peace Strider, one Phyrexian Juggernaut, one Pierce Strider, one Piston Sledge, two Signal Pests, one Skin Wing, two, one Spiraling Duelist, and two Treasure Mages. The uncommons I got from the Scars of Mirrodin were one Acid Web Spider, one Barb Battle Gear, one Barrage Ogre, one Bloodshot Trainee, two Clone Shells, one Contagion Clasp, one Corrupted Harvester, one Coaling Dias, three Darksteel Axes, three Darksteel Mirrors, two Darksteel Sentinels, two exsanguinates, which cost me about $10 each and I'm not too happy about that, two glimmer point stags, one heavy arbalist, one ichor rats, three liquid metal coatings, two mem knights, one painsmith, one riddle smith, two slice and twains, two throne of geth, one thrumming bird, one trigon of infestation, two trigons of mending, three trinket mages, one twisted image, and one viridian revel. I also got a rare and a mythic from Scars of Mirrodin, which were one copy of Argentum Armor and one copy of Sword and Body and Mind. Lastly, I got one copy of Sword of War and Peace, which is a mythic from New Phyrexia. From an investment standpoint, also on the magic side this week, I also got two incredibly clean savannas from Revised. I decided to buy a few more dual lands and I do feel that I paid a little bit too much for these. However, because of the quality that were they were on the listing, and also that I will show in just a minute uh, in camera, I felt that it was justified. I paid $331.44 for each one of these, and I've sleeved them and uh, threw them into protective top loaders, and I've taped them to my wall. Uh, I'm a little upset that I wasn't able to send these in with the rest of my BGS cards to be graded, because I'll now have to keep those uh, on hand until I can send the next batch, whenever that will be. What's up everybody, I'm Ethan Lee, also known as Watcher Syndicate. Uh, recently we finally got this package in, and in here should be two more savannas that I actually bought. I believe I'll probably put this into the weekly video, so all of this part might actually be cut out. But let's open the package. Um, as you can see, the package is still uh, fully sealed. I'm actually a little bit bummed that they didn't send it in a bubble mail or anything, but they just sent it via flat priority mail. I would actually be quite upset if this thing got sent into the machine and something happened to it, because, uh, like I'll mention in just a second, one of the reasons I actually did decide to buy this, uh, at the price point I did buy it at, was because of how clean the edges were, and I feel the next time I send an order in to be graded, it should be about just, uh, it could actually probably hit a 9.5. Um, I don't think it'll hit a 10 because 10s basically don't exist unless you're really lucky or you pay like a thousand dollars. But I will, um, I might talk about what price I bought it at, um, in the video, but 
this man, whoever packaged it, okay, I'll, I can accept it. These are some heavy duty bubbles. Like, it's taking me quite a lot of force to even pop one. Anyway, the edges looked quite clean, the front and back, especially the white border looked extremely, extremely clean. Is there anything else in here? Is it just cardboard? Yep, just cardboard. So, first off, is there two? Because if there isn't, then that's also an issue. There is indeed two. Oh. Yeah, these are really clean. Holy crap. All right, let's check out the surface. The surface looks real nice, actually, as well. Oh, there's a little nick in the corner on th that edge, that edge, and also right there. So, yeah, I doubt this can get a 10 on the edges. The edges might go all the way down to an 8, actually. So, if that is the case, then the highest this one will get would be an 8.5, assuming everything else uh, hits great marks. The centering seems to be a little bit smaller on this side, actually, as well. So, there's also another issue there. But the quality of the card itself looks quite nice. I will verify that it is a real card in just a second. Let's look at the second one. So, in the sleeve, come on, you can focus. Or not. We'll take it out then. This one's also extremely nice. Centering, it's the reverse of the other one. This side is ever so slightly smaller than this side. And the top appears to be a little bit larger than the back. And, oh, that edge wear on the back. Top borders, quite rough. Bottom border, also kind of rough. Probably because of shuffling or just general handling. The side, pretty clean. Uh, we should also probably check for inking. But I doubt there would be any inking because it is a revised card. Yep. So I have my trusty little jeweler's loop here. I'll actually put this down on the ground so we have more room. And let us turn it on. So what we'll check first is the text. If the text is... Um, the way magic cards were printed, and they still are, the colors are printed on one layer and the text is printed afterwards. So, in theory, the black should have a hard, nice edge on the um, various uh, color. Oh, wow, okay, so that was quite lucky. I didn't expect it to be that focused in... Yeah, okay, so it passes the, black, the ink test. So these are, I doubt these are rebacked because nobody would reback revised cards this cleanly. But let's check the back on the green dot. The way they printed the green dot on the green mana symbol on the back of magic cards is they actually have um, an L-shaped pattern of red dots inside the green dots, which is also a way you can verify if cards are real. Oh, there it is. Uh, as we can see, there's the L-shaped pattern of red dots within the little white area of the green mana symbol. So we know this one, at least, is a real card. And I would be wearing gloves, but I don't have any gloves at home currently that are clean enough to touch these. So we will sleeve that one. And since one of these is real, I highly doubt the other one wouldn't be, but we will check in just a second to be 100% sure. Alright, penny sleeve. Hopefully I don't mess up the edge more than it already has been. Or else I would be actually quite upset. As we can see, where did my old Savannah go? Our... Old Savannah, or at least the one I got years ago, you can see the centering is atrocious on this actually. It's so widely visible that you can see this side is larger than this and the top is larger than the bottom. So because of that, the centering got an 8. The edges, uh, it's kind of hard to tell, but um, the edges were also, there's a very cl clear white neck right there in the corner. It actually is present on this one as well, so that's, that's kind of odd. 
but it's not as obvious. And the corners are uh, also rated an 8 on my graded one because let's say my play, my graded one has seen some gameplay days is the best I'll describe it. I will vertify this one off camera just for the sake of time. Yep, so this one is also indeed uh, a genuine card. I'm not too skilled at checking the surface, especially with uh, my current lighting setup. But the back looks extremely smooth. So that should be at least a plus. Oh, that's a penny sleeve. Perfect fit over the corner gently. Oh, I'm afraid that might have... Shit. Okay, well, that's fine. And the penny sleeve. Let's squeeze the air out. All right. So now, uh, I wish I had the foresight to not send my cards in to be graded quite yet. But BGS did confirm that they did receive them. However... I now have these two in my possession, and having them in my possession is a lot more uh, anxiety inducing than having it be sent off to be graded, because when it's being sent off to be graded, at least I know they will be in some sort of protective casing eventually. While as long as they're here, I can't confirm that nothing damaging might happen to them, no matter how hard I try. But yeah. And with that being said, that's everything for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave a comment with your thoughts and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button bell icon to be notified when a new video is posted. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at wf.ethan.lee where I post art every Tuesdays and Thursdays, sometimes. This is Ethan, over and out.